What's up, y'all? It's your boy AF to the Z. I'm about to show you guys how to do cars in GTA and get that free money. Because all niggas do in this game is cheat, so fuck it. I'm going to cheat you how to cheat like the best of them. First off, you take the car you want to do and you drive it into your bunker. Now, most people play with, like, you know, auto aim and stuff. So you're going to have to change your aim type unless you actually have somebody. Unless, like, if you like free aim, you're in the house. If you like auto aim, you're gonna have to do this. You have to switch to free aim because it's not gonna work unless you have somebody on your friends list that's playing in a different aim type than you. The way I like to do it is, I like to go over to the creator, save your progress, screen goes black, and take you over to creator mode. Once creator mode loads, Once creator mode loads, press start and bring up your regular settings. So go over your settings, go to your controls, and set the free aim. Go to online, hit play GTA online. Now mind you, this is going to be a lot easier if you go into a lobby that has people in it. You technically can do that with, you know, a crew session or a friend session, but I prefer just, just, just go to a regular ass session. Now, once you've respawned, I like to just respawn directly into my uh, bunker for this purpose. All right, you're gonna get out. If you don't see your car here, don't worry. It's probably right outside. This actually helps with the actual process because you have to register the car that you're duplicating as your personal vehicle. I'm gonna explain why in just a moment. I like to use the LG Retro uh, Custom because uh, just the uh, Betty's upgrades alone, you're getting money off of that. Mm -hmm. So when you do when you sell the car, you get additional bonus for all the uh, upgrades that you put into it. So since it costs a million and some change to hook it up to this level, and mind you buy the most expensive everything, you know what I'm saying? That's how you're gonna go ahead and get the maximum amount of money for this. So gonna head it through and put it in your MOC. Then, once you're in the MOC, get right the fuck back in the car and get the car out of the MOC. So now, now you set up here. All right, let me try this one more time. All right, now that your car is back in your bunker, it technically still has metadata that says that, hey, there's a car in your MOC. So don't worry about that for now. We're going to get back to that later. So next step is to exit the bunker. As soon as you get out, you either want to steal a car or summon a Pegasus vehicle that will be somewhere nearby. Or since you're, if you're a CEO, you can just go ahead and summon a CEO vehicle. I prefer the Buzzard, aka Reliable. Have time to steal this Chrome jet here. That's somebody else's jet. I'm not trying to be mean today. Now you return to your facility. Once you're back in your facility, this is where the next part of the glitch goes. Now as you can see over here, you see an identical card because that's one I duped right before I did this video. And you see I got those three Sprunk Buffalo uh, uh, Bravados, uh, you know, whatever they're called, you know, the fake chargers. You got like Social Club or anything, there's cars that they give you for free. In fact, I was going to collect all the free shit that they wanted to give me on the PC version, but it's full of hackers right now. So uh, I ain't playing that shit. Then, you run past the desk for your concierge, go right through this door that's on the right, go down the stairs, Make a U-turn, you're going to see the e-cola machine. Now, before you hop on the e-cola machine, you got to make sure of two things. One, that you actually have some kind of cash on you. Actually, I take that back. I guess you don't have to have cash on you. But anyways. All right. So make sure when you go on your map, you pull up the full world map. 
all the blue jobs are there. So make sure that your job uh, settings are not hidden. All right, that's very important for this next part. Now, go to the machine, buy a soda, pause the game, go to world map, highlight a job. When your character is drinking it at the peak of him kicking it back, you press X and then press A. Since he's still in the middle of that animation, it rejects you being warped over to where that actual mission is. And now, you're in your facility, notice there's no map, no HUD, it just says loading in the corner. That's how you know you did it right. Run all the way to the car you want to change into the car you're duplicating. So I got these bravados here. Get in the car, pull up your system menu. Doesn't matter, I'm using, I'm doing it on Xbox, but you can also do it on uh, PlayStation. Pull up any of your friends who are playing the game and take the option to join the game. Now, when you have the black screen, are you sure you want to join the GTA Online session? Progress will be automatically saved. You hold the R, you hold R trigger or R2. Press A or X to accept the mission. You're still holding R. It's going to ask if job activity and session you're trying to join has different targeting mode. Do you want to change your targeting mode? You press no. So B or circle. Jobs no longer available. Let go of R. Press A. Establish your car, all your vehicles are gone. And now, you respawn outside of your facility. Now, just like I said before, without using a personal vehicle, get back to your bunker. Now, don't worry if you don't get the ticket. You gotta learn the timing for the uh, animation there. Just got back to your bunker. Get out of whatever vehicle you're in. Walk inside. What you may not know, may not have noticed, is that the license plate number on your car is different. That's because your car has just been duplicated. Now the metadata for your uh, for the car, your MOC. It's still there. So, get into this car. This is technically a new car. And then park that in the back of your MOC. You get a message. Personal vehicle storage full. Adding this vehicle to your mobile operations center will cause your currently stored personal vehicle to be transferred to a garage. Press A. The duplication is now complete. Now, the car... The original car that you were, were working with was in the back of the MOC. Now it's actually in place of the car that you stepped into when you were in your facility. So back this car out, because obviously I know you want to keep going. No one's just going to do it once. Get back out of your bunker, just like before. Get right back over to your facility. Now that you're back inside your facility, run over to the car that you stepped into before, and as you can see, it has been changed to the car that you're duplicating. Rinse and repeat until you have a whole facility full of uh, dude cars and uh, sell them and make lots and lots of money. But remember, there is a limit on how many cars you can sell within a 24-hour period. Use this information and uh, make yourself some money, man. So, it's your boy, AF to the Z. I'm out. Peace.